get a group of viewers to help you stream at Demons. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. It seems like you may be trying to get me to play the game. It is a good game. Uh, and to play with you. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's, it, I think it was this key, right? No, the door that you use the key on. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's go. Let's go back. Are you talking about behind me, right? Let's go look at it. The door that I use the key on. I don't think I've used the key on it yet. So let's go check it out. Just said, that. "Oh, you're good, man. You're absolutely okay." I just, I just like to remind people of things in general because, as people filter in and don't know the rules or don't know what we're doing, it's always great just to throw out reminders. But I, I completely, I mean, you don't need to. You never need to apologize for misstating something or me misunderstanding things. You're, you're a okay. We did demons. We met patches and slaughtered him before he got the chance to say a single word. But do I need to go down from here, guys? Is that is that where I'm supposed to go? Um, I know I can go up, obviously, and there's a lantern right there. But should I? Was there a door down here that I that I missed? I, I didn't see the door, the iron door. I don't I don't know what that was. Is it in here? Ah, it's not that, is it? Yeah, demons. We thought it was an enemy. We thought that Patches was an enemy, and uh, and murdered. Oh, I know where we need to go. I know exactly where we need to go. I actually really wanted Sea of Thieves, but it sold, it's, is it really a full 60 bucks? There are no cheaper, less expensive routes like you all, so you know, it's a no-go for me, I really wanted it too. Nuclear, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm, I'm sure that the price will go down. Okay, I am freaking lost. What the hell? I don't think I've ever been this lost in this game. Actually, it's not true. I got kind of lost in the city. This is where we're... Yeah, that, yeah, I know, I know uh, what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about, actually. I just don't know how to get there from here. And I'll find it. I'll, I'll look around. The first maze room. It's not here, is it? Can we, we should be able to get back to the first maze room, right? From here? Or can we not? I've seen, I have seen many play it as well. And it does look fun. It does absolute fun. Okay, we're, I am, I'm getting to the point where, okay, I give up. I give up! I am gonna go up here, go to the lantern, and go to the, <laughs> go to the lantern down below, and then come back up here, because I am an idiot, and apparently can't. Oh, is this it? I found it! I <laughs> Oh, that took way too long for some reason. Yeah, dude, our damage is super low with these things. Let's, uh, let's switch, let's switch. It's here! <laughs> Our sense of direction has uh, <laughs> been achieved. You know, it's kind of interesting because my sense of direction in games is actually not awful. But every once in a while, there, things like that just happen. And I know that place is designed to be a bit confusing, but I really, <laughs> I really feel like that should not have been as big of a struggle as it was. You remind me so much of Man vs. Game. Well, thank you. You're actually the second person that's, that has said that in the last two weeks. Playpool, who I believe is still here, uh, said that as well. And that, I mean, there there is nothing to that but a compliment. I Man vs. Game is one of the best casters still to this day on Twitch. So I, uh, I will take it. I will absolutely take it. Have you ever played the Devil May Cry games? Dignity, I have not played the Devil May Cry games. I was telling Tag about it the other day. Well, I appreciate that. And all I can say is thank you. Because comparing someone to one of the best casters on Twitch is one of the best ca compliments you can give a caster on Twitch. Also, totally missed out on the Crystal Lizard guy. Did we really miss one? Oh, well. Ah, no, not oh well. We gotta go. Did we have to go back? I don't know. I don't really know. I feel like they are up your single player alley. Are they are they horror games? The devil man I it's actually weird because normally when someone Oh Jesus! Normally when someone says the name of a game, I'm I'm pretty well learned, even on games that I haven't played, and I'm definitely up to date on games that I that are coming out nowadays. For some reason I cannot think of what those games are. Babers no! He dropped chunks! 
I need chunks. Chunks are exactly what I need. I blame you entirely for me missing that and being blind. This is your fault. Wait, no, it's it's my, it's my fault. But yeah, it, that's another thing, guys. If there's ever like a if there's ever one of those things and I don't see that, please feel free to yell that out. I don't. I could care less of you. How do I keep doing that? I keep doing this thing. I don't, I don't know what that is at all. I heard uh, those DMCs are quite good for streaming. DMCs? Devil My Cries. No, not horror games. Like action button smash combo games like God of War. Oh, interesting. Well, we're thinking about doing a God of War franchise playthrough here pretty soon. If I can get a hold of the first two games. So, uh... That's what... It, okay, I, I was pretty sure, Meepers, that that's what it was doing. But I, it still pisses me off. I don't like it. I am not a fan of that that crap. Stop it! Okay, we're good. Oh no, we didn't miss it! Get back here! No, stop! Oh, yes! Meepers, I forgive you. It's all better now, my friend. It is all better! Oh god, we're gonna just... Yeah, so moving the controller makes the emotes. Okay, that makes sense. And I think it's... But why is it not working now? <laughs> it should be working. What is this? It's, it's not doing anything. Hit left on the... Oh, I know you can pop these up. But do we have to pop it up beforehand? And see, like, I, that's why I know that this is the, the, the motion that we were trying to do. Because I've seen that one right there. It just, it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> What the heck? Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. It looks so weird. I I agree. I was actually watching myself while I did it. To make sure I was doing the motion right. It's not it's not there's, there's nothing! There is nothing, chat. God damn it. Alright, that's okay. That is okay. A rune, not a gem, but lore. That sounded like a souls like message on the ground. Meepers, that is kind of funny that you said it that way. Oh, Arun, not Jim, but Lore! Alright, let's, uh, let's look at this rune. Which would, which would, actually, <laughs> I have no clue what we got. Oh, oh, it's hold X and move the controller. I click square because I am traditionally not a PS4 uh, player, a, P a PlayStation player, and I just, because <laughs> X is on the Xbox, uh, oh, and there it is, Koala, you genius, I like how you watch me flounder with it for like five minutes before throwing that out there, though, that, that's some style right there, try finger, but hold, exactly, nuclear, exactly, <laughs> it was an eye in red, all right, let's go, let's go look at it real quick, <laughs> I was like, whoa, what emote is that? <laughs> that is the tentacle spell. That's what that is. That is me being an idiot. An eye in red. Oh, so it was it was the formless Odon? No. Oh, there it is, moon. Oh, just more echoes. We already had that one anyway. Oh wait. Oh whale. That's okay. <laughs> Delay kill koala, I'm totally messing with you. Again, do you you definitely don't have to apologize. I <laughs> I am totally just kidding. Yeah, there there can be quite a delay sometimes. Uh <laughs> anyway, it was much funnier that way. I kind of enjoyed having to struggle for it a little bit. Read it, read it now. Jesus, chill out, me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna read it. We're gonna read the damn rune. I actually didn't, I, I kind of forgot that these things had, uh, things. A secret symbol left by Carol, runesmith of the Birgenwith. A transcription of Moon as spoken by the Great Ones inhabited, inhabiting the Nightmare. Gain more blood echoes. The Great Ones that inhabit the Nightmare are called sympathetic, or are sympathetic in spirit, and often answer, called upon. I'm called upon? Can I call upon them? <laughs> Can I call upon the spirits to do my bidding? That'd be kind of cool. Okay, let's go. I do like... I, you know, I bet every single person that plays Bloodborne, or like 90% of them, must wear this helmet at some point. They must. 
call upon- Oh, the Great One specifically! Well, this Augur of Abritus is me calling upon a Great One, I think. I don't know. Let's go grab two levels real quick, though. That'll be nice. Nice and delightful. I really should go get more water. I really should. Although, actually... I'm not gonna need to get more water, I don't think. And I wholesomely disagree with you there! Oh, because... The daughter of, of Doom is not uh, a great one. The more color the rune has, the better it is. Okay, that's cool. I like that shit. I, I, I appreciate you guys when you tell me those things. Because I've noticed that some are better than others, but I did not notice that the more colorful ones are better. What's weird is this does not give you like a percentage. It just says more echoes from slain enemies. So I guess now we know that this one is a better one if we want to use it. Oh no, because the helmet is horrible, is it? But I thought fashion born is best born, me uh, Meepers. And clearly this is the height of fashion. I wear this to, like, out. I was gonna say to work, but I'm not working right now. I, I <laughs> this, <laughs> I wear this out every day when I go to the clubs. Every single day. Night Triangle, maybe catch it on the high seas, dignity. Dude, if I get, if I get uh, Sea of Thieves, I will 100% play with you guys. That would be an absolute blast. So maybe. That ends up happening, I uh, maybe catch you on the high seas. So, and have a great night, Dignity. Thanks for stopping by, man. It's always great seeing you. You can stack them for farming? Wait, what can you stack for farming? Oh, 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 the, the things. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We actually were using those earlier on when we were farming blood, I well, guess. What is... Very well. I think we're triple Let streaming tomorrow. We'll enjoy, dude. Strength. I will, uh, I'll stop by if I can. Let me... I absolutely will stop by if I can. That sounds like a blast. Skill? Let's get some skill. Some skill and some arcane. Let's do both. Do both and do it live. Yeah, the Echo's Rune. No, I, I know what you're talking about, Meepers. I gotcha. Yeah, we used to have that equipped before we went the other way. Have a freaking blast, Dignity. I actually haven't, like I said, I haven't watched a huge amount of Sea of Thieves, but what I have watched looks really fun. It did look a little limited in its, uh, like, scope last time I watched it, so I wasn't really sure. I always punish myself for never going for HP. Skill in Arcane! That's true. You, you, <laughs> you have, you've got this perfectly right. I'm glad that you're starting to learn, Meepers. I'm glad <laughs> that you're starting to learn. I'll do the DLC of Bloodborne 6.47 if you didn't know because it is on sale. Koala, I own it already. Yeah, I did just buy it on sale like two days ago. Um, I had planned on buying it ever since I started the game, but it went on sale and I was like, this is my time! And so we did it. So now we have it, and actually we found the DLC. Uh, we just haven't actually started it yet. But I'm excited for it, because people are saying it's hard, and I like hard bosses. I do. I like the struggle of grinding away at them for four hours and never changing my strategy until I work. Or it works, I guess I should say. That's not true. I, I do change my strategy, and I, I will cheese the hell out of a boss if I find the cheese myself. Okay. Oh, we can upgrade again! Oh my god, we have a choice here. We have a choice. You know what? We're gonna have to go with the cane. Just because it's reliable. We've been doing it the whole the whole playthrough. We gotta go through it. Put in work! What do you mean, put in work, nuclear? I am putting in work. A lot of work. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do the threaded cane. Uh, because the memes must live on. The memes must live on. Alright, and now... I guess there's really only one way forward, uh, and it's back where we just were. Because I think we've explored every other area besides the DLC area. We do. We should go farm. Oh, that's what I should be doing. Killing all bosses. You're putting in work. Oh hell yeah, nuclear. We're gonna kill every boss we can. I'm pretty sure we've killed all the bosses we can so far, except the abyss lady. Oh, that's what I promised you guys. We do at least a couple more fights of um, the daughter of the cosmos before we end the stream. So I guess I have to do that, don't I? That's not what I want. I want to revamp. So let's go switch the blood gems up on this shit. We're gonna take that rapid poison crap off because that's awful. Ugh. Ibritus, yes, Ibritus, the daughter of the cosmos. Reduces stamina cost and adds slow poison. Let's get, let's grab that instead. And then maybe. What do we currently have? Attack versus beasts is up. Oh, and that's why it wasn't doing damage versus him, because he wasn't a beast. Hmm. 
Add slow poison effect, add physical attack. I wanna, I wanna up the scaling, to be honest. Oh, maybe I should take away the arcane damage with this thing. If one more main boss in the final, make sure you do the DLC before the last boss. Oh, really? Is it, will it like automatically finish the game for me and not allow me to do the DLC if I, or will I have to do the DLC in NG plus or something? Why do you, why do you say that, Koala? But sure, yeah, I don't mind doing that. Let's switch over to skill scaling. So breaking down the weapon here, you don't want any elemental up. Yeah, 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 okay. That's what, and, and arcane is, is elemental as well. That's what we just went away from. We're doing, reducing the stamina cost, which I think is gonna be good for these weapons since it attacks so frequently. And then also, uh, the slow poison seems fine. As for the end game, it's auto puts you in NG plus after completion of the game, okay. So guys, if you're here for when we fight the main boss, definitely warn me before we walk in. Um, so that we can go do the DLC. You will have to do the uh, DLC NG plus. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I do appreciate that, guys. I appreciate that a lot. No, Meepers, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the ending that we that we end up getting with our bait with our blind playthrough. I do appreciate the thought, though. All right, let's go farm a little bit. And then go fight the Daughter of the Cosmos before ending the stream real quick, guys. Let's go do this. If we could beat the Daughter of the Cosmos as, like, the end run for the stream, that would be glorious. It would be so glorious. I would love that, guys. That would be amazing. Uh, this boss has taken us way longer than any other boss. I will say, though, guys, I don't know if you feel the same way that I feel about this, but I, I think that the bosses for Bloodborne, generally, especially the main story arc, are much easier than most of the bosses in other Souls-like games. Is that something that you guys share, or do you think that that's not true? As Dark Souls that is, any elemental really actually reduce the damage of the weapon as a whole. Okay, huh, interesting. I actually didn't know that in, in uh, Dark Souls either. And straight physical will always be the best unless you're fighting an enemy that is bad against a specific elemental type. That makes sense. Until the DLC, that's true. That, that's a fair point. And I did not, and that's why I specified in the main game. Because I have heard rumors. <laughs> I always do that one. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I, like, am holding X and turn down or something. I'm not really sure. I'm just right after killing an enemy. I always look up at the sky. You got this, Beavers. We do. We do got this. Right there. We actually might try going for uh, the Blades of Mercy against this guy. It took you three days to beat one of the DLC boys. Really? Damn. The longest, actually, okay. The longest I've ever fought a boss in any Souls-like game was uh, Date Masamune in the DLC of Neo. And it literally took me, I think, yeah, like, like three days, three to four days of coming back to it and not beating it. And it was it's not like we're doing with the daughter of uh, whatever. It's like, it was like the whole streams were taken up by fighting Date Masamune. It was awful. That dude is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But also, in my defense, we did play the Neo DLCs in NG Plus when we beat the game in regular mode. So that was probably part of it. That may have been a small part of it. And it wasn't like we had to. I was just being stubborn because I tend to be <laughs> that way sometimes. Um, also test out blood pellets. Fast successful attacks add up a lot, but your stamina is pretty low. Yeah, yeah, we already actually did. Me, I, I was telling you this the other day. Last time we, you did do the NG Plus DLC. Okay, I got you. Well, I've been there. I've done that, and just in a different game. And that is quite the feeling. Quite the feeling indeed. So we're gonna do one more run through so that we can have two full fights against the daughter of the cosmos. Uh, and not worry too much about having to go farm again. All right. Spicy boys. 
damn right nuclear. Always spicy. Which reminds me, I need to go get some Doritos soon. I like Doritos. And you keep mentioning them and making me hungry. It is definitely getting kind of late, though. I was supposed to stop streaming like 30 minutes ago, but I'm having fun, chat. And uh, also, we beat the boss! My goal for streaming Bloodborne has been to beat one boss at least per evening stream. Share them! Meepers, I can't share if I don't have them with me right now. Hashtag stay spicy. Always stay spicy, my friends. I don't always stay spicy. No, wait. That was not what I was trying to say. I don't always eat Doritos, but when I do... Jesus, man. I stay spicy. That's it. You need more spam! Oh, I need some spam. I do need to get some spam. Thank you for reminding me, Metro. These are the things the chat has influenced me to try. Well, not try. Dor Doritos aren't really trying, but I do need some Doritos. It's been over two months since I've had Doritos, and my addiction must live on. But also... Uh, I should try some spam. You lied! Meebers, what would I ever lie about? Maybe you misheard. Maybe. <laughs> I've never had spam nuclear. That's why, uh... Metro's forcibly making me try it. I like all foods. I've never eaten a food I don't like, so I assume I'll like it. But I should get the experience of having it. Nope, arrogant streamer. Troll, arrogance, death, bad at Bloodborne. Who is this guy? You're right, I'm, I, I am. If anything, my one flaw in video games, not really in life, is arrogance. I definitely am a bit overconfident sometimes. And I know you're joking, but I'm saying that anyway, because it's sometimes the truth. <laughs> It is sometimes the truth. Yeah, we were in here up the other day and Metro was talking about spam sandwiches, which are apparently the same exact sandwich I grew up eating as a bologna sandwich, just with spam on it, um, which is interesting. You think so? Mm, maybe. Maybe, Meepers. It's good cooked in a pan and seared. Yeah, that's what that's what uh, Metro was saying. Then on a sandwich with some mustard. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, that's almost exactly what I heard. Only. Metro said, uh, with mayo and American cheese. And I've had bologna sandwiches both ways, so I assume it's a very similar concept. Alright, let's fix our weapon. I try, <laughs> I try and embody the toxicity and hive mind of chat in a simple entity. I think that, uh, you do very well, and you do it in a way that it is the good type of toxicity, the funny and enjoyable type, not the flaming you for being a awful person and uh, talking about your family in negative ways type of toxicity. I like it, Meepers. I think you do a good job. I think you do a good job. Okay, let's repair these. Just this. Have you ever cooked bologna basically? Yeah, absolutely, nuclear, yeah. I, that's what I was just saying. I, grow up, I grew up eating lots of bologna, lots of bologna sandwiches. So, I know, I, I know it's the same, I, that's what I was comparing it to earlier. Meepers! I'm guessing. Oh no! I was like, oh, someone got hit with the ban hammer, but no! Meepers got hit by the night bot with the caps. Man down. <laughs> it's okay, it happens to everyone, we all get enthusiastic sometimes. And nuclear with the ban hammer! Enjoy your time with those tokens, because I was gonna say the ban oasis, but you're not there. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I know, it does. That's Nightbot is pure evil. Pure evil and destruction. I should have spent these before I went here. Is there any way to get back once we've done this? Mm. Stay away! 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 You have bettertwitch.tv, I do not. I have FFZ and a bettertwitch.tv emoticon extension. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? Wait, what? That can happen? Huh. Who knew? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sounded smart. That's right, we are smart here. Uh, FFZ is an extension just like better.twitch.tv uh, Meepers, but it is much more frequently updated and so especially with the new Twitch like the whole new website face and all that stuff um, The devs of FFZ are actually actively working on it where the devs of better twitch.tv are not working on their program anymore So there are much less bugs and it continues to update for as Twitch continues to update and you can get the extension, which then gives you all the better Twitch.tv emotes. So it's this, it's basically the same thing, just with better better support. Your Nightbot is actually pretty dialed in. Doesn't get upset when it when I caps a bit or use emotes. That's right, Nuclear. It actually took me a really long time to find the the perfect little like the perfect um, area where like people who come in and spam chat will get timed out and it's like, please don't be obnoxious. But normal people who are here and just get excited, most of the time don't get hit. And every once in a while someone will get taken down at the knees with a baseball bat by, Na by Nightbot, who's a regular, but it's not, uh, it's not too bad. It, everyone, everyone knows. I think it's more like, it's like 25 or 30 caps, so it's pretty high. You gotta be pretty damn excited to get taken out. And that's fine. It's okay to get purged every once in a while. I get purged every once in a while. And I'm, I'm the streamer here. Uh, okay, so we are going to what what did he come back to do? I completely forget. Oh, we're gonna come back and buy some Molotov cocktails Four of them <laughs> Rip my knees. I know I know meepers. I'm sorry Don't worry though nightbot is a gentle gentle mobster and you should recover the use of them in at least a week about a week Maybe a week maybe two maybe two weeks. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Nightbot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nightbot accepts your apologies. That actually should be a command in chat. If you say Nightbot, I'm sorry, it, it says something like, it's okay, young apprentice. I mean, I'm always excited for things to happen. Nuclear, me too. Maybe that's why we get along so well. I'm a little too excited sometimes, to be honest. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, no! No! What? What was that? Left this elevator down to the bottom. Chat, I blame you completely. This is like that time I missed that thing on that stairwell. What gems are in your weapon? A scaling gem that's like level four or five, a damage gem which is like level something, and then uh, some other gem that I don't know about. But it definitely does something. Uh, let's check. Here we go. Uh, scaling physical attack up by 18% and physical attack up and add slow poison. Those are the things. And they're pretty good. It's served us pretty well so far. Okay. Let's get one shot. We do have a little more health now, so maybe we won't get one shot as frequently.
bullshit! That is bullshit! God damn it, dude! Oh my god, I, I hate having such a clean fight and then just getting one shot. That makes me mad. Like, we were dodging those- I actually didn't even know that the thing could charge during the casting of that thing. I know! And we've even upgraded our health two more levels. We got 70 more health and it still one shot us. But don't stress casting so much, uh, you'll get the damage off. What do you mean by stress casting? Yeah, we're, I mean, honestly, our runs are really good against her. Ah, uh, shit. Like, we got, we have her patterns down really well. It's just that, that final stage, she just keeps one-shotting us. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, so you keep injecting for bullets. I do, and that's what you what got you killed there. Oh, you think? I just feel like I need the bullets. Oh, oh, you're saying I will get the damage off without casting uh, spells. So just use up my bullets and then uh, stop inject and and don't inject. Gotcha. Okay. We'll try that, we'll try that. The closest we've ever gotten was from one where we injected the whole time, but I guess that, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm always down for another strategy. Let's do it. Let's do it live, chat! It's right there! Look at that! Look how much health she has right there! That is where we die every time. Every single time. The levels you need don't stress about losing HP. It's what keeps you offensive. Mmm. Okay. So you're saying don't heal as much as well. Stay offensive. Okay. We'll do that. I think we have one more try in us before we run out of uh, materials. Yeah, we do. We have another try in us. Let's do this! I think this time we're going to fall back on Molotov cocktails right in the end. Let's murder them with Molotov cocktails. Because I believe they do a decent amount of damage. We can, we're also going to probably use both of these bolt papers up here. Windows of downtime, but casting leaves you super open. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It's going to go well. I have, I have confidence and arrogance in my abilities.
No! No! God damn it, man. Yeah, like, we got, I mean, literally, we got the first half down. Like, it is really easy. I guess we should have probably dashed into it instead of away from it there. Uh, because we were up against a wall, and so the grab still got us. That's actually the only the second time ever that that grab has grabbed, actually grabbed us. So we might have enough resources to do one more run. Yeah, we, we should have enough. We'll, we'll do one more run. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer, because we do know the first half of the fight super well. It's just we just keep getting one shot. We just keep getting one shot. That's part of the battle, guys. It's part of the battle. And that's okay. Gotta get the full garb back on for uh, the wonderful style and the good luck that it brings even though luck doesn't exist. What are those me seeks that you run past every time you go here? Uh, I, I believe. Do you mean the big blue things, or do you mean the slugs? <laughs> Nuclear! I'm glad you're on my team, man, because I agree. But you know, that's just the nature of the fight. All right, screw it. We're just gonna go in, guns blazing, one more time. While we have some resources, and that's it. I really did think I dodged the side, but I, I think it was the casting animation. Yeah, the blue alien guys, they are miniature versions of this super big boss that we fought right, be right behind here. Uh, that was easy. It was such an easy boss. It's like they took the easiest boss in the game and the hardest boss in the game and they put them right next to each other. Hey, he fell this time. You stick to her left a lot. Try staying to her right side. Why does it matter? <laughs> Why does it matter what side of her I stay on? She does the exact same attacks regardless, doesn't she? That's painful.
in for easy damage and punishing. Yeah, but I mean, we, we've been dashing in anyway. Oh, she swings towards her right. Swings left to right. Wait, really? I thought she all, I thought she just was swinging on the side we were on. Not assuming gender is very good. Very good, as you should not. <laughs> Shadow. F all those one-hit KO attacks, I know. But that's what makes her hard. And like we've been talking about all stream, I have not invested in HP. So this is somewhat the punishment I deserve for being a stubborn asshole. Uh, and I'll take it. I will take the hard fight uh, for the easy fight against some other idiots. Um, this is definitely, I mean, this is literally the only boss the entire playthrough that uh, we've really not been able to beat. Besides the Bloodstarved Beast, but that was, that was my own fault. Um, and we're going to get there soon. We probably will beat our next stream, but guys... That is going to have to be it for me today. Thank you all so very much for hanging out. It's been an absolute blast. We're going to go ahead and quit out of the game here. We finished Celeste earlier today, the last seaside goddess. And now I'm going to read out this long sentence Meepers just typed. Yeah, you've done great. You want to dash into her swings. I also think you focus on the R2s a ton, which is good for starting combos, but giving you low stamina pull. It may be less damage. I agree with that. I agree with that. I think we've, we've been actually working to get away from those. We haven't been doing them nearly as much as we did, but we still might be going too much on them. And get more damage in those chain attacks. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. The lightning stuff definitely does help a lot as well. But guys, once again, thank you so very much. It's been awesome having you all here today. If you're new to the cast and you enjoyed the stream, uh, make sure to drop us a follow. You'll be able to keep up with what we do every single day. Uh, we do go live every single day at 2 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. And uh, it's a good time every single day. We beat Celeste, like I said earlier. Finally, so we will be playing a new game in the afternoons. Not really sure what it's going to be. We might pick up a little more Slave Aspire, and we're probably going to check Nino Kuni out later this weekend. We do play most major releases as well, uh, and we're kind of on these older kicks right now for a while uh, in addition to that. Uh, but the last stream has been phenomenal. It has, Meepers. From, from me to you, I really have enjoyed every single bit of it today. I went a full hour over all what I was supposed to, um, and it was wonderful. But yeah, we're going to be picking back up with Bloodborne if you want to come back and see more of that tomorrow during the evening stream. So during the time span uh, that we streamed today, we will be definitely playing some more Bloodborne. And with that, guys, again, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day afternoon, morning, evening, or night, wherever you are around the world, and good luck out there. Until we return, I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful one, guys. Thanks again.